10 things as an adult that you need to know about returning to education. 10. Keep the reason in mind. You chose your programme for a specific objective. Remember that. It's important for you to know why you're doing your programme. It will help you to get through the difficult times when you're studying. 9. Study from day one. This is an important piece of advice. Your life is busy. There is no point saying you'll do it next week or tomorrow. Do it now. As they say, the best way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. So make sure you stay on top of your studies so you don't feel under pressure. 8. Get yourself organised for study. With the pandemic, many of us have worked from home and have come accustomed to having a dedicated workspace. You will need to do this for study. It is important that you have a dedicated study zone where you can get away from the pressures of work and family in order to engage in your programme. 7. It's going to take time. As an adult, you're used to fitting a lot of things into your day and now you're going to fit an education programme. You're going to have to find 10, 15 hours a week to study, participate in class and make time to do your assignments you're going to have to cut some things in order to be able to make time for your program. Six, make a plan and schedule study in. It is important to prioritize your time. Study is going to need an extra chunk of your day. So you're going to need to make time for that. And the best way to do that is make a plan. Five, use your network. You'll need to rely on the support of friends, family and colleagues as you do your programme. People are always delighted to help, so take up those offers to walk the dog, mow the lawn or cook dinner. There are times when you won't be able to do these things because you will want to study, because you will be sticking to your plan. 4. Mind yourself. It's very important that you take care of yourself because you've added an extra activity to your life a major one. So now you must deal with those stresses and strains that this puts on you. You need to eat healthily, get exercise and schedule treat time. You need to mind your body and mind. Three, don't let your fears hold you back. It'll be a remarkable and brilliant achievement when you finish your program, but studying is a challenge. So you need to find ways to manage that stress. And you will have doubts and you will feel under pressure, but you've implemented a plan and you're using your network to support you. You're studying bit by bit and you'll be able to make it through your programme. Your lecturers and tutors want to help, so communicate with them. Remember your application was vetted by the college and they offered you a place so they feel that you are perfectly capable of completing the course. So keep it going. Two, close your books when study is over. Work-life balance is very important for your mental health, but also for your home life. So stick with your plan and ensure you don't end up burning the candle at both ends. So when you're finished your study, be finished, relax, catch up with friends and have some family time. Number one, enjoy it. Going back to study while working is a stretch, but you will enjoy the process. You'll learn new things about the topic you're studying, but you'll also learn things about yourself and how you deal with situations. You'll also meet new people. It's a rewarding process and the feeling of accomplishment is fantastic when you graduate from your programme with your class.